What's going on, family? How we doing, familia? Blessings are sent your way. This is Polo Gold, praise one, love one, God on only checking in with you guys. Welfare check. Hope all is well, you guys. Hope all is well. Today is August 10th, 2023, and August is a month where we trust God with everything, and I mean everything. If we trust God, then we're able to go ahead and be patient, understand the message within the mess, because there is a message in every mess, and uh, He will allow us to go ahead and create the solutions and build memories and build laughter and joy, because His grace and His mercy is more than sufficient than anything else in this world. Hope all is well with you guys. Hope that every day that you guys leave your home, that you can make it back home safe with your loved ones. Um, if you feel like you're all alone, you're not, and we're praying for you. If you feel lost, you're not. Just reach out to God, and we're praying for you. If there's anybody selling a, a birthday today, happy birthdays. If there's anybody selling a birthday in August, happy birthday, you guys. And uh, much love to each and every one of you guys. Great vibes, great vibes. Buenas vibras, I sent to all of you guys. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about if I want a successful life. So, I was uh, taking a walk. I was out and about. And I was thinking. I was going deep in my mind. And I was soul searching. I was uh, just, just reflecting you guys and talking to God, right? And uh, I came to the conclusion after I asked myself, Polo, do you really want a successful life? Do you really want success to be in your life? And I said, yes, I do. And then I came to the conclusion that if I want a successful life, I must grow and change. Most definitely, I must grow and change. Now, when I say grow, I don't mean uh, physically. Because I could be 46 years old, I could be 90 years old, I could be 50 years old, but I could be emotionally immature and be a jerk. Just because I grew bigger, it doesn't matter, no. I'm talking about growing emotionally, right? And changing, changing. So what are the things that can help me grow? Well, who I surround myself with, who I listen to, right? Um, am I listening to God, right? Uh, am I reading books, self-improvement books? Am I reading the Bible? Because in, in books that are written, autobiographies, and uh, how you doing? Yep, yep. How you doing? Autobiography books and stuff like that, and audio books that we can listen to, there are stories of people that had chaos, misery, and tragedy in their lives, but they turned it around and they became successful in their life. In other words, they were happy. Uh, such authors like Dr. Wayne Dyer, Helen Keller, Gandhi, Dr. Martin Luther King, Abraham Lincoln, Mother Teresa. There's all kinds of people that wrote their autobiographies that we can read that will help us grow. Because we might feel like we're alone, but we're not the only one going through stuff that we're going through. Other people have, and they became successful. So what are we doing to grow? You know, are we letting go of what we need to let go that happened last year, last month, 10 years ago, two years ago, five years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago? Or are we still holding on to it? Are we letting go so we can grow? Are we reading the Bible and seeing how Jesus dealt with everything and learning from the Bible? Okay, now let's talk about changing. Am I changing how I react? Am I working on my bad temper? Am I working on my ego? Am I working on my character? Am I working on taking responsibility? Am I working on my integrity? Am I working on changing myself and bringing out the best version of myself on a daily basis? If I am, then that means I'm changing my rituals and my habits, how I react, how I talk, how I walk, how I treat others, especially my loved ones, and the person that I am. Now, it's not a race, you guys. It's a lifelong commitment. But through growing and changing, when it's, it's time for me to leave, and I get to leave this because of this world because my mission is completed, then I'm going to leave a living testimony of how great God is through the mess of my life, 
God picked me up and he changed my life. And now the message is, God is beautiful. God is amazing. Life is beautiful, you guys. Life is beautiful, you guys. Oh, yes. So if you feel like there's something that you're going through that no one understands, we understand you. Okay? And we're praying for you. Just like they were praying for me. Even though I didn't want to hear the prayers, we're praying for you. Just like they prayed for me when I didn't want to hear the prayers because I didn't think I had a problem. You, 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 you had a problem. But not me. But then I had to change that way of thinking. And I had to go ahead and grow and grow up and mature and realize that I'm not living the right way. And my way leads to no way, but God's way is the only way. And then what happens? As I start growing and having a better relationship with God, then I start growing and having a better relationship with myself. Then I start growing and working on my skills. Then by working on my skills, then I can share those skills with the world, just like we all can. Okay, you guys. Now, if we don't change, then this time next year, we'll be in the same spot, same situation if we don't change. Okay, you guys. And there's many things that are coming our way that if we don't change, we're going to be left behind. Okay. So let me share something with you guys that I learned. Okay. You might like your job. Okay. But your job doesn't like you or love you as much as you love your job. Can they fire you? Yes. Can they let you go? Yes. Okay. Now they want us to be a great employee. It started from when we were in school. They wanted us to be a great student. Go to, go to school five days, get two days off. Well, now... They want us to be a great employee. And the owner of the business wants many great employees. Why? So each great employee can go ahead and create the dream life and the empire that the owner of that business wants. Well, what about your legacy? What about your business? So as you start working on your skills, which is a God-given talent, un don, the God-given calling, spiritual talent, gift that God gave to you, you start working on that, then you can start using that to create your own business, you guys. Oh, yes, because always remember, the owner of the company will get paid a dollar. No, no, the owner of the company will earn a dollar, but the employee will get paid 10 cents. So what's better, profits or wages? Profits all the way. Now, I'm not knocking jobs down, but I am knocking the traditional system. It's broke, you guys. It's broke. It's broke. So, let me share something else with you. When I learned and I earned $500 in one hour, a 9 to 5 no longer made any sense. So, I'm going to break this down for you even more. Say you're earning $20 an hour and you work 8 hours. That's $160 in those 8 hours. Minus tax that's what, roughly, what, 150 145 140 We'll say $140 in eight hours. Well, what about if on your spare time basis, from 9 to 5, work your job, pay your bills, but from 5 to midnight, start working on your, on your own business. So what about on your own business? An hour here, an hour there, an hour here, an hour, an hour there. And in one hour, you earn $500 completely. They don't take no taxes from that because you're working as a business owner. $500. What's better, $500? Or 140. Now let's say you're earning $50 an hour. In eight hours, that is $400. Minus tax, maybe 375, 380. We'll just say 350, right? We'll just say, depending on the state that you're in, 350, right? So in eight hours, working $50, getting paid $50 an hour, that's $350. But what about if you work one hour here, one hour there, and in one hour you earn a profit of $500? Now, what makes more sense? Okay, you guys. So, let God work on you. Grow. Right? And change. And I'm only sharing with you guys what my mentors share with me freely. So, I must. It's an obligation for me to share with you freely what was given to me freely. And for those that want it, take it. And for those who don't, we're praying for you. But keep in mind that the higher up above, they don't have us in their best interest. They're going to eliminate a lot of jobs. So might start working on owning your own business now. All right, you guys. I hope that all is well. And if there's anybody that I can help in the United States or is interested in earning extra income, working from home without leaving your job on your spare time basis, leave me a comment and I will reach out to you. Once again, blessings I send your way. Today's August 10, 2023. 
May you have an amazing day and an amazing month of August. And in August is the month where we trust God with everything. And don't forget how awesome and amazing you are. And we are so proud of you. You guys be safe. Bless you in us anyway. Let's get it done. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, champs. Let's go, champs. Let's go be amazing, champs.